U.S. college basketball players are only permitted to use a limited range of numbers on their jerseys, namely 0, 0, 0, 1 to 5, 10 to 15, 20 to 25, 30 to 35, 40 to 45, and 50 to 55. Why? I'll say it again. U.S. college basketball players are only permitted to use a limited range of numbers on their jerseys, namely 0, 0, 0, 1 to 5, 10 to 15, 20 to 25, 30 to 35, 40 to 45, and 50 to 55. Why? I have two likely incorrect hypotheses. <laughs> okay. One, one is the less safe for work one, which is they probably don't want the number 69 cropping up. <laughs> I was going to say that one as well. Like, all the funny numbers are away from that list. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and then my other one is, um, well, I might be wrong about this, but I, th I think, I don't know, I haven't really watched much basketball, but are there five people per team in basketball? I think there's loads of people per team in basketball and they can swap out. I think you get substitutions, don't you? Mm. Oh, God, I know nothing about basketball. Yeah, I mean, the the, the whole team could be huge, yes. It it, there are yeah. definitely more than five members on the team. But on the court itself, is it not just five against five? If if there's not, then my hypothesis goes down the drain. But if it's just yeah, five... Yeah, it's, it's five v five. Then maybe you could have your mm. one to five. Maybe you could have your top substitutes, zero and zero, zero. Um... And then as you knock players out, maybe that's when the 10 comes to substitute the 0 and the 11 comes to substitute the 1. This is my first working hypothesis. Okay. Uh, no, I would say you're you're pretty cold on that one. <laughs> is basketball American? I don't know. Basketball is it's, uh, it's probably predominantly American, although uh, it's played in the Olympics, so every country has yeah. basketball teams. Yeah. But where, where was it invented? It's not relevant to the question, but maybe. <laughs> I, I really don't know. That's a that's an interesting question. There's an old story about it being that someone put uh, like nets for oranges up on a hoop, and you had to try and throw the ball in there. And I think that's a myth, because the the story goes that they were like the ball kept getting stuck, so they cut off the bottom of the nets. I just I seem to remember a debunk of that somewhere. Ah, I know that the Aztecs mm. had like this circle stone things and they had to like hit a ball with their hip towards that and aim at that. But that's not basketball. They say they claim soccer for that. <laughs> yeah, that's the old Aztec <laughs> ball game, which yeah. was meant to involve human sacrifice at some point as well. I think yeah, I... it's so fun. <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> but I, I do have a hypothesis that has nothing to do with Aztecs. Yeah, my producer um, just said it was invented at a YMCA in the US with peach baskets. I nearly got that right. I my question is: Does this have anything to do with the Chicago Bulls? No, it is definitely okay. not. This is okay. this is college basketball. College basketball. I was wondering, did like Michael Jordan claim twenty seven forever? And nobody else can use it because that's the only thing I know about basketball. Michael well, there Jordan. are retired numbers in a lot of sports. Michael Jordan was twenty three. Oh, 23? Wow, yes. I'm so wrong. And I love Michael Jordan. <laughs> See, I don't know anything about basketball. <laughs> a lot of teams, a lot of sports have retired numbers. If someone was, okay. was that legendary or that infamous or, uh, right. <laughs> or that shunned by society now, they do sometimes retire the number. But Okay, wait, this is actually an interesting clue because retired numbers is a problem for this rule. Retired numbers is a problem for this rule. Because college teams do retire numbers and then you only have so many numbers left. So I'm wondering if it could be to do with the pronunciation. Maybe for some reason, one to five is easier to say than six to seven. And like you've got 16, 17, and 25, 27, 36, 37. Like you're, there's a lot of repetition and maybe there's some ambiguity in the way and you remove more of that. But then you still have the problem of 23, 24, but maybe less with 13. Yeah. So this is my next hypothesis. Keep going with that. You're you're on to something. Uh, it comes for the commentators because they go by name rather than number. Are the players' names like for the commentators on a, like a five by five grid, and they they, they want to translate from the number on the jersey to the name, and that's an easy way to do it, and they can't read more than five by five or something like that. Uh, who would benefit from using limited jersey numbers? 
the jersey manufacturers would because they don't have to create the numbers <laughs> six through nine to go on the back. If, if they're all two digit numbers, which we like, that's true. So they would still be two digit numbers. Mm. Yeah, is there some reason they can't use six, seven, eight, and nine? Uh huh. Think about that. Is there some some keypad or some electronic thing that doesn't go that far, or the score clock doesn't show those higher numbers, or something like that? Well, the score the scorecard definitely does. But keep going there. You're you you're you're getting so warm. I almost don't want to stop you. Like, help help him out, guys. Could it could it be that six? Um, eight, nine, and three. They all kind of look a little bit ambiguous if they're a number on a chess. If you can just see half of it, maybe it's again harder to disambiguate those players. But what what makes what makes six, seven, eight, and nine harder to communicate than the smaller numbers? Oh, uh, you're my on the right God. path. Yeah, it's fingers. You've only got five fingers. So if you want to call a substitution or yell at someone from the side of the court, and you want to hold up your hands to say like number 23, yeah. you can do yeah. that with two hands if you don't have more than five as each digit. There you go, yeah. Yeah, oh, that's so good. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow, that's hard. It's to avoid confusion so that the refs can just use hand signals to indicate the player's number. Spot the nerd who went for like keypads and commentator <laughs> view grid before the literal hands I have in front of my eyes right now. <laughs> oh, that's a lovely question. Thank you, Jeremy. Well, that's a yeah. high five yeah. <laughs> for that one. Yeah, so the, the, the primary goal there is just to communicate clearly when the refs want to indicate a certain player number. If you're holding up a two and a five, per se, you know for sure that that's number 25 and not number seven or some other number that would be above five. 